Hello again and welcome back to Willie Farms. I'm Donna Cavender. Thanks for joining us today. We're filming at the end of July. It's a little warm, but that just made us think of all the kinds of things that would be refreshing in the summer. So that's what the show is all about. Willie Farms right here on Route 13, very easy to find. Even if you're traveling on Route 1, just get off in Odessa and travel south on 13. Or if you're coming from the south, get off north of Smyrna, get on Route 13, and we're up here on the right-hand side. Please check us out on our website, that's WillieFarms.com. Of course, we're all over social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and please check us out on our YouTube channel as well, where you can find this episode and many others you can watch whenever you'd like. Now get out a paper and pencil because you're gonna wanna write these recipes down. They're really good, let's check them out. So have you ever had lemon bars before? It's been a long time, but I love lemon. It, so I'm looking If you love lemon, it then you'll love this. So what we have, what you have to do first is the crust. And so you've got a nine by 13 inch pan. You make the crust in here. You just put together a half a cup of white sugar, a cup of butter, that's two sticks, and uh, two cups of all purpose flour. You put it in a bowl like this. And the best way to do it is just get in there with get your hands. Okay. And you just mix it around. Then when it gets fairly mixed together, you put it in the, in the ungreased pan and you just flatten it out. Okay. Then you put it in the oven, 350 degrees. I did this for about um, 18 minutes. So anywhere from 15 to 20 minutes, you know your oven better than anybody else. So right. that's how you do it's it. It's so a thin layer. It's just a thin layer of the crust. And then you need to put um, your, your lemon loveliness Ooh, yeah. on top of that. So stuff. what you do, how about you start um, breaking the uh, yes, eggs? I sure will. You have a cup and a half of white sugar. So there's about a cup, and there's another I got half a, a cup. Sorry about oh. that. I got it. Oh my goodness, what am I gonna what do with you? I don't know. Oh, I'll tell you what. Then there's a quarter cup of flour. It's very simple. Mm -hmm. We've got three eggs in there, another four eggs. Now you do have the juice of two lemons. Wow. And I already did a lemony. few here. Yes, it is lemony. So, and this is a nifty little gadget right here. We sell that. And, I know. I, I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah, it is neat. So you get uh, the, all of the juice out of two lemons, and so you get so much keeps pulp. Keeps the seeds from you get, going yeah, through. Yeah, it keeps the, the seeds from going through, and you got some pulp there. Mm -hmm. And it ends up being about a half a cup. Okay. A half a cup of, you don't, you don't want the, those seeds to go in there. So there we go. About a half a cup of the lemon juice. There Wait. we go. And then you just whisk it to get together. And then you just lather the top? Yep. You spread it? Okay. You just spread it right over top. And then you have to cook it again? You have to cook it again. It's the same temperature. It's again, it's 350 degrees. Okay. And you put it in for about 20 minutes for, for the lemony. But you see how easy it is. Yes, it is. There's easy. not much to it. No. You got that sweet and sour. Oh, it's awesome. It is mm -hmm. awesome. And you know, sweet and sour, is a new trend for 2016. Combination okay. of sweet and, and, and salty or sweet and sour. Oh yeah. Okay. That's a that's a another trend for 2016. So you just it just takes a couple minutes, a couple seconds actually, and then you just literally pour it over the top. No kidding. You just pour it over the top there and you make sure that it it spreads out. Yeah. And that's, that's really what nice. you take and you put that in the oven for about 20 minutes. And what you come out with are these lovely oh, lemon bars. Oh, moist. You put a little confectioner sugar mm -hmm. on top, sprinkle that on top. After and it's I, cooled? Yes, okay. after it's cooled. That's one thing I wanted to show you real quick. This was my pan that I made my, um, my finished product in. And I wanted to let people know, I cut this when it was hot. Mm -hmm. And it's a little ragged. So yeah. you wanna make sure that you let it cool and I decided, why not try a pizza cutter? And it works great. So you just cut uh, nice it. Nice and clean. Yep, cut it nice and clean. Oh, I did crooked lines, didn't I? Yeah, But too small. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> too small. But then you just pull oh, them out, yeah. put them on a plate. So that's nice. So would you like one? Of course, yes. And I'll take a little one. Yeah. So Cheers. here we go. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> the best it's lemon really bars. They're really, really good. They are good. Mm. Thank you, Donna. Mm. You're welcome. I love these spots. They're great. 
Now, if you've never had lemon bars before, you need to try that recipe and you'll be in for a treat. Very refreshing, really, really nice. And of course, that's what we're talking about today is all kinds of great refreshing things in the middle of the summer. Lemon bars, definitely. Coming up next, what else is very refreshing in the summertime? Watermelons, of course. And we're going to make a watermelon cake, but it's a no-bake watermelon cake. You'll see what I mean coming up. Hi, we're here with some cool summer snacks. Now we've got a variety of, of them, but first we're gonna start with the, what's called the no-bake watermelon cake. And here's how it goes. You get your nice seedless watermelon, make sure you thump it, make sure it's gonna be good. If it has a nice kind of a hollow sound, it's gonna be nice and, and ripe. So we get a nice sharp knife and you cut that down, turn it around and cut that again. And of course you don't wanna waste this, so you can cut that up and make little portions out of it and people can enjoy that. But for the time being, we're gonna put them in that bowl and you turn it up like this. And there are a number of different ways that you can actually cut this away. What I'm going to do is kind of like what you might do with a pineapple is cut it away like this. Cut the rind away. And there are a number of different ways that you can actually make the cake. You can make it an upright cake, which is what I'm attempting to do at this point. And you just keep going around and cutting the rind off because, and then the other way is that you could, you could put the uh, knife down in this way and go around. So whichever way you want to do it is the way that you want to do it. Whatever is more comfortable for you. But you uh, get all that rind off and put that over here. Get all the rind off here. Then you kind of shape it up. Make sure you get most of the rind off. That there, like that. Now that's a really tall cake. That's for sure. So what I've done, you can leave it a nice tall cake like that if you want to, but I decided another good way to do this is to take it and just put a flat spot right there, like that. So there's some more watermelon that we can use at another time. Then you put that down there like this. Let's make sure that we take this off. Make sure we get all that off. And then what you do is whatever kind of whipped cream that you like. Now I made whipped cream this morning. Heavy cream, a little bit of powdered sugar, and you just whip it. You take paper towel and you just kind of pat it dry on the outside. Otherwise, the whipped cream won't stick. So you pat it dry like this, and then you start taking your whipped cream, and then you just start putting it on like that. And of course, you go all over the entire piece of watermelon until you get something that looks like this. And there is your watermelon cake. And you top it with whatever kind of berries you like. We have, these are local. Can you see how big these blackberries are? They're absolutely huge and they are local. So you can get them here at the market. And of course you can put whatever berry you want on top of the, uh, of the watermelon cake. We have strawberries, the blackberries, the raspberries, and the blueberries. So you could put uh, some nice blueberries in the middle there, make it look all pretty, whatever you want. If I you're doing it- I just know it looks good. I, 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 all I can tell you is I hate to come in and interrupt, but I'm, I'm sitting over and I'm watching this. Mm -hmm. And I'm, what a great idea, Donna. I mean, just, just to come up with something like that. What, how refreshing is this if you're having a barbecue? Exactly. It's a hot day. Exactly. You come out with this and people think, eh, it's too hot for cake, you know, and right. I got to try a slice though. Well, who, who wants to, uh, to uh, fire up the oven too, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. So I, we'll, we'll cut you up. This, this is just a, you know, 
Oh, you're going to give me a whole big old piece here. Yeah. Well, we'll cut it. There we'll cut it go. down that there way. That, how about that? Yeah, because I want to taste your whipped cream, too, and see how that is. There we go. And we've got some got That's some forks. Oh, yeah, you're all And ready you can cut me. it if you want. And while you're take, having a taste, I will let everybody know that we have a couple other cool snacks. And that includes, these look like just normal, regular old grapes, don't they? But they're frozen. On a hot summer day, you got a frozen grape. Pop that in your mouth, and it's really, I gotta try really good. Too, and then you got what, what are these things here? You make your own popsicle. These are pear juice, apple juice, and um, pear juice, apple juice, and orange juice. <laughs> I was trying to remember, but whatever kind of popsicle maker thing that you have, just mix up whatever flavor that you like. Put them in there, freeze them, and there, see, push up, pop. Just like that. How refreshing is those frozen grapes? I mean, that that is a third. Not question. bad. Um, everything is uh, great ideas. I mean, it's all. And for more information, they're always doing something. You can always find out more right here at Willie Farm. That's right. And we got to move along. I mean, we're running on time. But the <laughs> watermelon cake, you know how to do it now. Make your own. That's right. Yummy. Mm mm mm. So now we know what could possibly make a watermelon better. Well, that would be making it into a watermelon cake. I hope you enjoyed that and, and maybe give that a try. It's really, really refreshing. So here I am standing next to the cherries. Why? Well, that's because our next segment, once again, we're going to be back at the sampling station making something for you. Very refreshing. And yes, we'll be using cherries. Well, here we are back again at the sampling station. That means we're going to be doing some cooking. We're going to be making something. And I'm here with Gretchen. And one thing that we neglect to do every time we're here is to talk about our lovely set that we yeah. have here. And Gretchen usually does it all the time for me and she does such a wonderful job and I have neglected to say anything about it. So I wanted, I wanted to do that today. Once again, a beautiful set. And so why don't you tell the folks what we have here as far as um, the flowers and the pottery and things. So what do we yeah. have? Well, usually you tell me what you're going to be doing because I'm right. not always yeah, hands-on in, in the shot. We try to do the theme. Yes, and it'll either be fall or a color or... And then today you were doing something citrusy and summery. Mm -hmm. And then we got these beautiful plants in this week. So we are very tropical, very summery. And um, so I pulled some of those and the Mexican pottery that we have. So we've got amaranthus and some of the different tropicals that we have. Okay. Um, so our plants color. I mean, ugh, it's such a great Are all of these for them. considered tropical? Everything is a tropical. Yeah. So okay. you can have it as a house plant. Very cool. Uh, not actually, not one of these is not a house plant. And right. then we choose our, our pots and we choose usually food heads right. into there as well, sure. incorporating what you're going to do up here because that's okay. what you're always doing. And it's always year. beautiful. Thank you. And mm -hmm. and a lot of times it's silks that we use or gifty containers or signs or something like this and this time everything's live everything's is, live yeah which, which is, is cool fun. it's now, a good time here for that are these are all of these like air scrubbers you know like the snake oh, for plant clean for cleaning the um, air that that one is isn't it that one is right a, there this is a corn plant okay um all the plants because they're all the plants take up carbon dioxide and they're all putting out oxygen that's just what okay. plants do so it just, some are more efficient at others okay. than, than others sorry about that um the best ones that we always have are uh, spider plants and which i was we always have they're, i was just doing some awesome some research um on the aloe aloe vera yeah. and that's a, a good air and scrubber. i didn't bring any of that up and gosh <laughs> i've got gorgeous gorgeous uh, aloe right there you go too. okay so there's our set, and there's the person that does our set. She always does a really, really nice I job. I try. Yes, We've always yes. got good stuff. It's actually not too hard. <laughs> That's right. It's not too hard. It you take hard. a shopping cart, and you just start walking through the store. Oh, yes. I'll take one of those, and I'll take one of those. Yeah. Okay. So let's get to what we're really here to do today, and that is, and my theme today is summer refreshing drink or dessert, and that's exactly what we're going to do. And we're going to start with the dessert. And we're not even, you said cooking, but we're not even cooking, right? We're not even cooking. We're, we're even just cooking. kind of yeah. putting things together. We're not even turning the stove on. So it's really, really easy for you. Now, Gretchen, 
<laughs> what is this? This is a trifle dish. This is it's a mine. Trifle. It's your trifle dish. And yeah. Gretchen, have you ever made trifle in your trifle dish? My trifle dish is a virgin to trifle. <laughs> It has never had one. My mother-in-law, who's from England, and makes the most beautiful trifle, and I'm always, I'm very enthusiastic about her trifle, and one Christmas she gave me a trifle dish, mm -hmm. and I've not used it. It's held Christmas ornaments and arrangements and lots of things that aren't even edible today. <laughs> Is it's christening? It's but, deflowering. It's but, going to be. Yes. It's but it's gorgeous. But today. this, So this is a trifle dish, and I think there are a lot of people out there that it's pretty, so they buy it. Oh, I have a trifle dish, but they don't quite know what to do with it. So we're going to show you what to do what with your trifle dish. What you're supposed to do. What you're supposed what to do. After. Okay, so we're making a summer fruit trifle dish, and we're using peaches, blueberries, cherries, and pound cake. Now, as with a lot, if not all, of our recipes, you can make it your own. Now, we're going to use, why don't you get the, uh, the pound cake over there? My mother uses uh, lady fingers usually. Lady fingers. So that and, maybe that's um, an English thing, but and, this, I love pound cake. And sometimes uh, you can use angel food cake. <gasps> oh, yeah, yeah, I you can. You food. could use angel food cake. Let us get. Um, let us get some. Some gloves here. So that uh, we'll be. We'll look official. Okay. So we've got the um, the pound cake, and this, of course, is the pound cake that uh, we get here at. Willie Farms. It comes from McClure's Bakery. And what what you see here is this, is this half of a pound cake. So, so that's what we did. So many of those. We've had yeah. that for years and they're, they're just delicious. By they're themselves. really good. Okay, so you start off your trifle and a trifle is a layering of your different ingredients. So Gretchen, why don't you put a layer of the, um, of the pound cake and at the bottom like, of your trifle dish. Like one deep or? Yeah, just one. Just one, because we're going to do a variety of layers. There we go. There we go. All right, and we'll save that for the. And let's get the. Uh, let's do the peaches. Now, did you put any like preservative, like sugar or anything I, I to help with the browning? I did not. I okay. did not. So they are. They are starting to look a little, a little brown, but they're still good. Yeah, but if you just add sugar that helps with the browning so something yeah. as easily as that or a little lemon juice maybe lemon juice helps okay yeah. so again you make it your own we're also using a little whipped cream so we've got whipped cream now you can make your own whipped cream you know you can do the you, cup you of have, heavy cream you, she and has I, done it for some of the I have done too. that before yeah. but you know today I decided no nah, not gonna do that because we have these wonderful products it's right here, hot too. Even and it's, here it's hot today. It's so hot. what we're going to do is we're not going to go overboard with this. You just, just. Now, are you conscious of the sides, like making col different colors next to each other? Because you want it pretty from. It's like kind of an art too. Well, right? yeah, you do want to make it want to make it pretty. Okay, so what do you want to put in next? The blueberries or the cherries? Is each layer going to be? Separated by, like we should do all the layers of fruit and then our mm -hmm. breading again. Yes. Uh, I'm going to go with these. Cherries. Okay. So we've got the red cherries and we've got oh, the white yeah. Rainier Did cherries. See that? There, there you go. Cherry. And this is prime cherry season. Whoop. Run away. Right now. Run away. Okay. And I there want it go. on the edges and I want it in the Yeah, middle. you want it on the edges so it looks real pretty on the get outside. Some of these darker ones for a little bit of color change. Oops. Oh, One runaway cherry. Okay. Oh, no. How about that? Okay. Now we've got the blueberries that we're doing. Put you the could blueberry, do blueberries in. Red, white, and blue. Oh yeah, perfect. Perfect for. Uh, yeah. So let's do some more okay. pound cake. And again, you can use whatever your favorite fruit is. You know, if if you're not particularly fond of blueberries, then uh, use raspberries. Um, or just use peaches or whatever your favorite fruit is. That's what you can do. And whatever seasonal at the time. Right. So like, so like right now, seasonal. summer, is, we don't have apples so much, but in the fall. Right, right. Okay. There we go. Okay. So we'll put in some more peaches. This oh, <laughs> looks really good. Oh, I forgot about the... Okay, peaches. 
A little bit more whipped cream in the middle. And you don't want to see whipped cream on the edge because it probably gets kind of messy. And yeah. Slidey and gooky looking. All right. All right, me next. You and next. Here. There we go. And these cherries are halved. And depending upon how big the cherries are, you can cut them again and make them in quarters. Um, these are so good. They're beautiful. These are, these are nice and big, too. Let's do a few more there. Let's put a, a little bit more pound cake on there. It's so pretty. It's looking good. And depending upon how much you want in there. All right. Let's, um, let's finish off with the cherries. How about that? Sounds good. There we go. We used all the cherries. And now we can be very liberal with our... Ah, oh, like a little pie edge. Oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> now, oh, oh, getting fancy. Yeah. Getting fancy with the blueberries. Getting fancy with the blueberries. All right. So cute. That is awesome. So what we had to work with was about a pint of blueberries. We had a half of uh, the pound cake, and, and, we, and we have quite a bit left. Um, and I think I did six peaches here. So, so you can make this in your trifle dish, or if you want to do individuals, you can do individual with a nice, pretty goblets oh, nice. like this. You would you would take yeah. you would take the uh, the pound cake, and then you would put some some of that in there, and then you can do that. And then my mother-in-law, she'll use in the layers, uh, like she, I wanna say she, she usually doesn't put the whipped cream till the very end. Oh, till the and end? And then she puts um, uh, custard or, or pudding. Oh yes, you can as use pudding. Yeah. You, you can use pudding as a layer. Which is really good too. Let's put yeah. some peaches right on top of there and top it off with some more whipped cream. And there you go, you've got a beautiful individual trifle yes. there. It's beautiful. Okay. I love it. It's beautiful, and I'm sure it's gonna be really, really good too. And you can see all the different colors and all of the different ingredients in there, making it really nice. How nice would that be at your picnic? Hot day, nice, cool, refreshing mm. trifle. And that, that didn't take us long at all. It didn't take long at all. No, absolutely. Okay, so next up, we've got our trifle. Now we need a nice, refreshing drink to, to put a little umbrella in and sit on the patio with the ceiling fan go. Yeah, okay. Or inside. Or the inside, AC. yes. So next up, it's a drink called Orange Whip coming up. All right, so now we're here back again and we're ready to make our easy orange crush slushy whip thingy. You yeah. can call it whatever you want to call when it. When you're describing it to me, it's like orange creamsicle. I think that's probably what you're The flavors you're, you're telling me, I'm like, mm -hmm. I'm super jazzed. <laughs> super <laughs> okay, jazzed. so again, we're not really cooking anything. It's just gather your ingredients and put them all in the blender. Now, hopefully you have a blender. This is my blender, and so we're going to put all this in here. So we'll start out with, uh, which is essentially a cup and a half or 12 ounces of orange juice. That's so, this whole guy? Yep, that's the whole thing. So we'll put that in there. And then we need three quarters of a cup of milk. So we got a quarter cup here, so we'll put three of these in. One. That does you just don't think yeah. milk and orange juice. Yeah, it doesn't. I mean, it's not the same uh, as milk and lemon, but I'm like, right. milk and orange juice. Right. So there we've got the milk. Then we need oh, some sugar. So we've got a third of a cup of sugar. So you can put that in there. There we go. And this is vanilla, vanilla extract. And we've got a couple tablespoons of that. So we'll put that in there. You know, if you get something and it, there's just not quite the right taste and you put a little of vanilla extract in there, Anything. Just, yeah, it just puts it right off. Okay, and so the last thing is ice. Now this, um, I, I kind of did the figuring 
And I figured three cups of ice. So we're putting it in there. Three, eh, three, eh, cups of ice. So you put that in there. All right, we've got our ice. Yeah, yep, it. that's it, that's it. We'll put that in there and then I never know, how do you know which one of these buttons to push? The recipe tells you to <laughs> pulse it or? No, it says blend. So I've got blend, there we go. So we'll push the blend button, that'll work. And then you just stop Check it, it out. And then I would just Check it and Say see if... we'd see what, uh, what your consistency is. Yeah. That looks like... It smells good. Here, let's see. Oh, yeah. That's very... Now, do you think you could put, like, some orange flesh in there as well? Sure. You could put some uh, some zest or some... Uh, you oh, could use... Zest. You could have used orange juice with pulp. Yeah. yeah. Or you could use orange juice concentrate and use it, and, and that will make it a little bit nice. more slushy. We can... Um, we can put a little bit more ice in there and Oops. blend it up a little bit. There we go. I All right. And then the less you blend, probably the. Yeah, probably. You know, so we've got have our different cups. consistencies. Yeah, depending upon how thick you want it. Let's see what we got here. Now this one is this one is thicker than what I made yesterday. So we've got one there, but you can still see the ice in there okay. and I had a suggestion from from somebody that I had taste tested yesterday and they said oh that tastes good it would be even better with a scoop of vanilla ice cream on top and you didn't think that sounded like a terrible idea. and I didn't think yeah. that sounded terrible at all and of course we have delicious vanilla bean ice cream here so you could put a, a scoop of that on top nice. as well but now let now's okay. the uh, keep. yes okay let's see how we did. Let's see, I like the consistency. Totally creamsicle. Totally, totally. creamsicle. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh yeah. Wow, that's really good. And it's so refreshing. Well done. <laughs> well done, Donna. High five on that one, Brad. Okay. Higher. Higher we, five. Oh, higher five. Higher five. Okay, oh. there it is. An easy orange drink. Easy ingredients, wow. easy to do, blender, and you're good to go. So I hope you enjoy your orange drink, and I hope you enjoy your trifle. You've got a trifle dish? Get that trifle dish out and make one, okay? Mm. Thank you, Gretchen. Well, I hope you try at least one of those recipes. Of course, all the recipes are available here at Willie Farms at the sampling station. You can stop by, pick one up, and try it yourself. I just could not resist showing you this in the naturals department. Aren't these soaps so pretty? It's all part of our naturals department where you can get beautiful natural soaps and lotions and all kinds of fun things. So that's another thing you need to check out your next visit to Willie Farms. We're located on Route 13, very easy to find, just south of Odessa, just north of Smyrna. You can check us out on social media. We've got our website, which is willyfarms.com. We're on Facebook, we're on Twitter and Instagram. And of course, you can check it out on our YouTube channel. You can find this episode and many others uh, on our YouTube channel, so check that out as well. I'm Donna Cavender. I appreciate you watching today, and I hope you have a great day. We'll see you next time.